wanna be me. Hello guys and welcome to another video. I always start off the day, just especially where it's not always start off day, that is a complete lie. But when the weather is nice and the sun is out, I always will start my day by just sitting outside and getting some daylight. Just so many benefits to that bloody damn sun. Just so many benefits. Just sucking in the 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 sun into my face even though I'm orange as fuck already just sucking it in and just appreciating the sun and the benefits that you get from just sitting here planning out your day knowing what you're doing doing a little bit of meditation focus on your breathing you might think sitting here going George this is hippie hippie stuff that you are doing right now but try it honestly try it before you judge anyway let's get into this damn video I hope all is okay sit back relax and enjoy make sure you fucking like the video as well that does help me out I want to get 500 likes that is a big call, but 500 likes, I'll be happy with that. So please like the video, I beg, I actually beg. I zoomed in here? No, I'm not. <laughs> you know, good presentation, you know, good clear condition, but it said just needs to keep that fullness going into the finals. Um, and George Osborne, um, just a little bit off today, I think he was quite lucky to get that third spot, how he looked tonight, how he was a lot better in pre-judging. Um, so uh, for finals, just needs to, just. You know, pull it back together and just continue to get tighter um, or back to home. I think the first qualifier just gone backwards a little bit, maybe yeah. just you know, a little bit of time of having to come backwards and go forward again. If you see yeah, what I'm saying, I yeah. think he was sharper when he came, his last qualifier, George. Yeah. yeah, he was a little bit yeah. sharper. There's a little bit more cloudiness um, with George this time. George's feedback they mentioned I was a little bit off compared to what I was last time, which I totally agree with. And again, the cloudiness kind of look, I, 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 I agree with as well. I actually agree with everything they say. Um, the evening shot, I did look worse, uh, and the main reason behind that is because backstage we were sitting around for absolutely ages, and I was re I actually got like a really stiff back, believe it or not, just from sitting down. And when I went on stage the second time, I actually really struggled to open up my lats or flare my lats because I was just really so tight from sitting around all day. That, of course, is not there for. It's partly. No, it's definitely my fault. I was sitting around for just too long. There's, there's only a certain amount of pumping up you can do before you think, fuck, am I overdoing this? I need to sit down here, just chillax a little bit sort of thing. But I was we were sitting around for ages. And uh, yeah, in the evening show, I did look, you know, slightly off. But again, learn experience. Um, I've got another, you know, two weeks to kind of dial it in for the UK DFBA. And then if we go to do the finals in either the juniors or the lightweights, I can rectify, you know, um, what, I, what, what, what they've said, which is really good. So I, that's what I like about the MIABF. They actually give you some good feedback in their videos and stuff like that uh, but yeah generally I agree with everything they say I'm not gonna sit here and go fucking this fucking that you know like I normally do I agree yeah whatever um, it just is what it is but yeah we learn and then we we showcase better 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 each and every time so it's all about smile on my face as well sarcastic one I'm fucking fuming. I'm not really. A few weeks back, I started implementing the old baby rice pre-workout, and uh, it was fair to say I was fucking shockingly bad at making baby rice. But the more I've done it, the better I have actually got it. Um, and one thing which I have been very guilty of is using too much water because I want to fill myself up, man, because I'm dieting. Unfortunately, in reality of things, my friends, you just got to suck it up. So many people, you know, you you got to pound yourself with veg and veg and so much, you know, a kilo of veg, all this. Type Type of stuff using all these like diet hacks and uh, all these skinny syrups and which are great At the end of the day you're still always going to be hungry no matter or if you put a kilo of veg in you've got like a really big fat boy gut you're still oh god we'll sneeze here <coughs> oh i didn't even cover my nose then that was bad yeah well saying unfortunately dieting you're going to be hungry so it's just a case my friend it's just a case of like just sucking up and just kind of getting on with it it's not going to last forever but unfortunately you're just going to be hungry for the time being wise words from me just stop pounding yourself with oh more water and oats more water here more water there learn that you know as i'm coming towards the end of my prep which is tragic i wish i learned this early on in my prep instead of being a little fucking twat so i got my baby rice and i'm just going to put some water in it and just go by 
kind of the texture. So I'll get myself a fork, stir, I go to the texture which I like it, and then I'll put it in the microwave because I like it hot. So you can eat it cold, it's totally fine. Put some cold water in there. I'm waffling now, and I really. See, so I start off with a little bit of water, then I just start stirring, and as you can see, it'll just get harder, harder, and I'm thinking, right, I need more water now because it's too, like, clumpy for me, so I add more water, and then it starts absorbing, then it gets a little bit more slushier for me, and the texture gets a little bit better. I'm thinking, right, this is getting close to the texture which I like, but I need more water, so what I do is I add more water again, I keep adding more water, and I'm thinking, yes, I'm liking this. So with the protein, what I do is, previously I would get my scoop of protein, and then I would implement, well, I would apply it into the cream of rice. But this is something which AJ taught me to do, is get yourself a mug or yeah get yourself a little mug add the amount of protein which you desire so in my case it's 35 grams because i know people will ask and then what you want to do is make your protein into like protein sludge sort of thing all you simply need to do once you've applied your why is it not going to 35 come on there we go fucking now so you apply the tiniest little bit of water just literally like that and then you start stirring and what it would do is it get hard. You might need a little bit more. So you might go, oh, I need a little bit more there. Bam, a little bit more. As you can see that, looks like something you'd lay after having a cheat day and it just don't go right. You lay mud down the toilet. And what you'll do from there is you'll add your sludge on top of your, just like that, look, look at that. It's like bloody chocolate, but it's chocolate whey, not the chocolate that you really desire on your prep you just add it on like that i hope to god you can see what i'm doing right now Oosh. you add in like that you get yourself a little bit of spoon get the rest out because as you can see a fork ain't doing the job here and then you kind of mix it in and i've added 50 grams of blueberries in here and just let the frozen blueberries just melt and oh and then mix it in and there we have it lovely pre-workout little meal there going down add a little bit of two grams of, of salt on there i should make a cooking with george like well it's not it's hardly cooking it's bloody putting in the microwave and it's baby rice it's not cooking but i should make something like go try it. honestly game changer i'm changing people's lives you're gonna watch this right now and go fuck i'm gonna actually do that i know you're watching this guy aren't you gonna try that after this tonight i'm gonna try that i know you are that's my pre-workout going down beautiful absolutely beautiful of course when the weather is nice you really need to just simply Put your intra workout into the old freezer. Nice little cocktail whilst you train. Absolutely delicious. And we also are gonna have a little treat pre-workout because fuck it. We're gonna have a white monster. Fuck it, why not? Need to stop having them if I'm honest with you, but we just don't fucking care, me. Just don't fucking care. I'll just give you a taste test of this shit. Oh, yeah. Not even in gear. Fuck. I took a sweat by oh shit. Traffic lights changing. Traffic lights change that quick, rah. Anyway. It's like health healthy. It's like nice tasting mouthwash. Beautiful to the mouth. Absolutely beautiful. So this is like my first training session or proper training session in about four or five days. Leg wise, it's, I haven't trained legs in about a week, so I'm excited. What I originally would do is always post show, like the day after the show, I would go into the gym and I would train. But what I did yesterday, I actually didn't train. Um, I took the rest instead. I was like, right, let's just be smart because I always rush into getting back into the gym, always rush because I have that, you know, that motivation, have that energy from that pose, uh, well, the show day food. Obviously I'm eating a little bit more on show day, so that energy but I told myself no I'm actually gonna fucking sit down just relax have a day of relaxing and not do absolutely anything and I did that and I feel tons and tons better for doing that you always find that the, you know the pumps in the gym especially you have that you know post show binge or you know post show cheat meal whatever you have you always find that your pumps in the gym how you look in the gym is amazing you're like why did, couldn't I feel like this before why can I look like this either I made the decision just to relax a little bit because I've been digging myself really really hard of course over the past you know since january now taking those four days off i've had like pretty much four i did an upper body pump session but i wouldn't really cast that as a session i've had like four days off in the space of like seven days and i like i said i feel you know really really refreshed for it so we're gonna go into this session and we're just gonna kill it simple as that i'm motivated more than ever get me into the bloody gym
Nah, he's on. Hi, it's me again. Back with again with another voice. Oh, I totally fucked that up. Back again with another voiceover. Uh, I can't wait for the day that I actually... Oh, I hate YouTube and bloody voiceovers and doing it all the time because copyright and shit like that, which is very frustrating. Sometimes you just want to leave the footage raw, man, and not have to do a voiceover because it takes a little bit of effort and time or you just don't want to do it. Anyway, fuck all that. What I want to talk about is post-show binging, post-diet binging, same thing. What a lot of us will do post-show is our relationship with food in a deficit is, we already know, extremely bad. Like, the cravings are there, the urges for you to binge eat is high. We've all done it. We've all kind of ate and regret. We've done that regret of, oh my God, what the fuck have I just done? I've ate 5,000 calories. But what you really need to do within this phase, my friends, especially post-show, is do not fucking binge. Whatever you do, do not binge. And you've noticed throughout the three shows I have done, I haven't binged. I've just gone back to my usual routine, usual diet. I've just gone back to my usual, you know, oats pre-bed uh, and, and then gone to, you know, sleep at a cheeky wank, gone to sleep uh, and then lights out. Um, the reason why I, I do that is because as soon as I will start implementing junk food, you know, I, I'm going to ruin my progress very, very quickly. And it, it is very unhealthy having that relationship with food. Um, you'll find that your hormonal balance, you can't you can't stop. We've all been there. We've all binged. How many of you sat there going, I, I can't physically stop. I'm thinking about food. I, I'm, I'm really doing this. I'm really doing that. And, and post-show, this is a phase where you need to be, or post-diet, you need to be really strong. You need to be really strong mentally and, and tell yourself, like, right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to either increase my food or I'm just going to potentially just enjoy one meal off plan. But what I've always found is that that meal off plan you have is just, you know, you are craving more and more and more and it kickstarts something which you don't necessarily want. So I would advise is just eat more of the foods which you have been eating. Um, because as soon as you implement those, that junk food, oh my God, you know, you're going to run into loads of issues as well as that digestive issues as well. You're going to run into so many fucking issues. Like how many of us have ate, you know, clean through stop saying you know george oh my god how many how many of us have ate really clean foods for a period of time then we start implementing junk food and all of a sudden we're on the toilet you know fucking dying of diarrhea just coming out left right and center and you're thinking christ i regret eating that food you just need to be strong um like the, the next four or five weeks when you finish your dieting phase you will you will adjust to the increases in food and you won't look at food as, uh, you know, I'll look back in six months time when my food is way more higher than what it is now. And I'm thinking, Christ, I'm, uh, you know, I'm not bothered about junk food anymore because I've, I've kind of gotten over that phase. But immediately post-show, immediately post-diet or, you know, you've prepped for your holiday and, and you're going away, you really need to stay strong. Um, and, and what I would advise is just, don't don't binge don't have a meal i mean each their own down to you do what the fuck you want but if you've worked extremely hard like like i have do not be going out to ruining your progress and you just need to be mentally strong and continue doing what you are doing um i know it's much easier said than done but yeah oh. A lot of people uh, will ruin their progress. You see they've, they've gained like 20 pounds in such short period of time and adding 20 pounds or like 5, 10 kilos in, in body weight in that short period of time is going to really hit you hard. You're going to really feel that and you're going to feel like utter shit. So this voiceover, I know I've just waffled on and put this all together. My advice, my advice, number one tip is do not binge post-show or post-diet because it's going to bite you in the arse. Stay strong, eat more cleaner foods and stick to the fucking plan, my friends. So that was a, a very, very good session being back into the groove. You good? Mighty, that was a very good session despite not training legs for like seven, over seven days. Week, was it week? I think it's a week today that I haven't trained legs. Good to be back, good to be in that gym, good to be breaking a sweat, good to be shouting and screaming and not giving a fuck 
I love it. Also over there, people were correcting me. I felt like I was getting told off by my parents. They're Canadian geese or something like that. They're not swans. So thank you for everyone that put that in the comment section and that slapped me on the wrist. I felt like it was my mum having a go at me, not gonna lie to you. I think you can break or you can punch some Canadian geese and not get in trouble for it, which is good. And not that I'm gonna do that, but if, there, if, ever, if ever one attacked me, then I'm gonna fucking kick the cunt in the head and not get arrested for it and kill it. <laughs> Fuck the Canadians, I'm joking. Because I know there's some Canadian man, Canadian people that watch me get me home get me some fucking food because I've got some almond milk and I have some white cocoa pops in this bag and I actually didn't pay for the bag forgot don't have a go at me don't don't go oh you fucking dickhead George pay for the bag next time I will <laughs> anyway chat and waffle get me home this battery is on 6%, fantastic. It's a bloody food. I made a rookie schoolboy error earlier and uh, forgot these bad boys. These are my wireless headphones. I get, oh shit, oh fuck. I get a lot, oh god, they, I don't know where the fuck they've gone. Oh dear, fuck that. Um, I get a lot of questions actually about my, not a lot of questions. You know when people actually say that? I get so many DMs about this. I get people questioning me about this. But in reality, you don't. You just say it just to kind of talk about something. That's just one of those. I do get messages here and there asking me what headphones I use, but I don't get it all the time. And they are the Bose Sport wireless headphones. They're, they're pretty much very similar to the Apple, the wireless Apple ones, which a lot of people use. However, they're not as pretty as the um, the Apple ones. But the sound quality is a lot better. It looks like uh, I've got Shrek. Like when you put them in your ears, it looks like you're bloody Shrek with the ears. Uh, Shrek, Shrek with the ears. That makes no sense, George. You little fake fuck. But yeah, personal preference. I think the Apple ones look prettier. You look a bit like yeah, you're a G baller sort of thing. You look like you're a footballer. If you like your sound quality, I would probably go for the Bose ones. That's my personal pr opinion. Someone's gonna comment's gonna be like, no, the Apple ones are much better. Fucking who cares? They're the ones I use. End of. Yeah, whatever. Uh, anyway, I'm on four percent, so I'd better leave that there. One minute thirty. I'll try and find these bloody headphones. Oh, I'll just take my time. Fuck it. Bye. So I ordered this about about four o'clock. I actually ordered this when I was in the gym, believe it or not. That proves how much I was fucking working out. No, I actually completely forgot, and I just reminded myself. I was mid midway from my session. I was like, fuck, I need to order this. Um, good old Amazon Prime. It's now half past eight, and you know, four hours later, the delivery has been received. Show what I got. I'm sure many of you won't be excited about this. It's just a suit, it's just digestive enzyme. Yeah, digestive enzyme. Ran out earlier, I was thinking, fuck, I need to order some. This is the one which I would recommend you guys using if you wanna get one. It is from Now, it's called Super Enzyme. Just go on Amazon, type in Super Enzyme, and this will come up, it's about 15 quid. Very, very good uh, for, to help digestion. Um, one, one thing I would recommend any, for anyone using, um, or anyone has digestive issues, that is what I've got. Dear Lord, a lot of people still ask me what the fuck have I got on my face. Blue light blockers, what are blue light blockers? Just Google it. They, they, they block the blue light out. I could get a nicer pair, but I'm not willing to spend 60 quid on a pair of glasses, which I wear. Um, I'd rather spend like 10 on these. However, if you're a company watching me and going, actually, we do blue light blockers, which are fashionable, we're gonna send you a pair then uh, yeah, feel free to send me a pair because these are ugly and uh, I could have more of a fashionable pair on my face and look a little bit better instead of people going, what the fuck is on your face sort of thing. So if you're a company watching me right now, you wanna send me out oh, uh, uh, some glasses, please do, I'd appreciate that. <laughs> anyway. Still small. <laughs> Don't know why I did that. As always, I'm gonna leave it there. Comment down below, bottle. Um, I always make sure that I drink two liters of water before midday. Don't know why I've always set myself that goal, but comment down below, bottle, I'm nearly done. And I've got three minutes to drink that, so I'm just gonna make that in a minute. Fucking no idea why I'm telling you that. Appreciate everyone watching the videos, appreciate all the comments from my show day video, all the negativity as well, as well as the positivity. Always does keep me going and all that kind of good stuff. Anyway, let us know your thoughts. Anything you guys want to see, of course, let us know. Make sure you follow me on Instagram, all that kind of good shit. Appreciate it, love everyone. I'm off, bye, love you, bye, yeah, bye. Fuck off, George, you orange little top-knot cunt. Anyway, bye.